yeah children uh, uh, revision program started like uh, in the physics part today i will do that uh, thermal properties of matter and uh, my syllabus today confined to thermometry expansion of solids and liquids ok right about uh, these three topics a small topics here they are normally they are not going to ask very direct questions in this and uh, these are the topics that are there in the different parts of uh, the physics in the electricity we use some of the applications and even the thermodynamics we use and in the mechanics we use and the oscillations we use and in the mechanical properties of the fluids we use and in the different chapters we are using that is the reason and this is what actually the topic which is required for the next uh, other parts of the physics ok. Now and in the process of my uh, today's uh, lecture and I uh, will show you some theoretical points along with the uh, numericals I will focus on the numericals and important numericals and uh, some extra numericals also given you can practice yourself and major important numericals in the given time I am going to cover and covering of uh, important formulae right. Now first we will see that about uh, the thermometry and uh, some fundamentals are given just uh, have a look of all this and uh, very important form a uh, concepts here just you can check that. Now I will go to the next one about the temperature about the temperature what exactly what is the temperature and uh, what are the other important points about the temperature I mentioned right you can go through that next and uh, most importantly to the today's topic to focus here the scales of temperature you all know that here in the thermometry the major part is about uh, the different scales of temperatures because temperatures can be temperatures can be any kind of thermometer and uh, different uh, scales will be there here Celsius scale like a clinical thermometer which is a Fahrenheit scale right uh, different kind of the scales will be there in which most important scales are here and Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale these are the three no need to concentrate on these two here rumor scale and the Rankine scale right. So, first we will see that what is exactly the use of this formula that you should learn at this moment in the revision time. The use of this one is equal to when the Celsius scale temperature is given for example, right now at my place the temperature is say 30 degrees Celsius. What is the corresponding value in Fahrenheit they ask that is the one important point and second one is so in this uh, duration of like 30 minutes the temperature is increased from 30 to 35 degrees Celsius and what is the corresponding increase in temperature in Fahrenheit scale and a Kelvin scale. So, these are the things like we are going to see in the first part of thermometry right. So, now you can ask <coughs> what about these two normally we do not have any questions based on this that is the one point and sometimes what happens here other than this other than this and we have we have and other scale like uh, any kind of faulty scale will be there some unknown scale will be there here. So, that also we prepared here just you can look at here and how to relate the relation between this and by simplification you are going to get that this relation here. I will write it again C by 5 is equal to f minus 32 by 1 8 uh, by 9 which is equal to k minus 273 by 5. This is the most important relation that you should focus and this can be this can be relate with the unknown scale or faulty scale and how to find out here and we are going to see some questions also. Now, here you can see how it is related I will repeat here sometimes I want to compare Celsius scale with the unknown scale. Let me take that here this is a Celsius scale and this is equal to unknown scale or faulty scale faulty scale we can say that here and this is a what actually Celsius scale and on the Celsius scale lower fixed point will be 0 degree Celsius this is a lower fixed point. And I mentioned that here in the faulty scale x is a lower fixed point I mentioned and uh, on the Celsius scale and upper fixed point is equal to say 100 degree Celsius and here the corresponding upper scale is a y and a reading on the Celsius scale I took it as c and a reading on faulty scale is equal to z. What is this exactly that means you have one particular scale which is not a accurate one which is a faulty one which has a different values of uh, like a lower and upper fixed points in that case if at all you have that thermometer only if it is showing at this moment the temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius will it be correct or not in sense no we have to find out what exactly the corresponding correct temperature for which we are going to use this you see that here simple 
C minus 0, already we know that here, reading minus lower fixed point, reading minus lower fixed point by upper fixed point minus lower fixed point is always constant. For the Celsius, you can see this one only I am writing here, reading on the Celsius scale, lower fixed point 100 minus 0, which is equal to z minus x by y minus x, simply we can write it. Okay? I am going to show that uh, one or two questions based on this also after two, three concepts here. Right? Children, we will go to the rough next concept here. See, relation between the change in temperature, you observe that here, change in temperature or difference in temperature also we can see that on the different scales. I told you already, if at all the temperature is increased by delta C on Celsius scale, what is the corresponding increase in temperature in Fahrenheit scale which is called delta F. The corresponding temperature increase in temperature on this one is equal to delta K. How they are related? For example, at this moment the temperature I told you already from 30 to 35 degrees Celsius is increased in the last half an hour. What is the corresponding increase in temperature on Fahrenheit scale? and a Kelvin scale that we can easily do that here with the relation delta C by 5 is equal to delta F by 9 is equal to delta K by 5 is equal to delta R by this is not required at this moment here only concentrate on these 3. Okay? Now from these 2 only you can clearly understand that here you see from these 2 if you can see that here from these 2 here you can clearly say that here delta C is equal to delta K. That means, if the temperature increase on Celsius scale say 5 degrees Celsius, the what is the increase in temperature on Kelvin scale? You want to find out exactly 5 Kelvin only will be there. For example, I will tell you an example for this. If temperature on Celsius scale is increased by 30 degrees Celsius and what is the temperature increase in Kelvin scale you want to answer? So, directly you can say that delta K is equal to 30 Kelvin only because delta C is equal to delta K. Next and most importantly this one, this is the most important, I am putting a star here. See, for this what is the importance of this one is equal to, if the delta C is given a corresponding delta F you can calculate. Okay? So, anything you can use of and uh, how to find out and all the same example I am taking here. If delta C is equal to 30 degrees Celsius, what is the change in temperature, change in temperature, corresponding change in temperature on Fahrenheit scale. So, then you can simply say that here delta C is equal to this formula I am using 30 degree 5 by 9 into delta F. So, 5 1s are 5 6s and here simply we can say that delta F is equal to 54 degree Fahrenheit that is the purpose of this. So, you observe the previous one and this one again I am showing that previous one, you can check that here. This is only to find out the temperatures, temperature at this moment you know, what is the temperature on the other scale and what is the importance of this particular one here. This one is a change in temperature difference, that is a very important point. Now, we have certain graphical uh, mechanism and we will check that other things also. Please see that some of the numericals I am showing, some of the numericals for your practice I will show, I will give it to you. Next, you see the graph here, taking F on y axis and Celsius on x axis, right? Huh? In the previous notes, uh, previous uh, question papers, you find this uh, kind of the graph here and F is on y axis, Celsius on x axis, how the shape of the graph and what is the nature of this graph and all other things we will see. Once we will go back to the equation earlier I gave you already, just you see F minus 32 by 9 is equal to C by 5. Always you see that equation, by seeing the equation, what is the nature of the graph and what is the shape of the graph in sense, whether it is a straight line or any kind of the shape of the graph that we can find out with the equation. Uh, F minus 32 is equal to children, just observe the clearly, calculations are very important, that is where you are losing the marks and F minus 32 is equal to 9 C by 5 and for this you can see here, F is equal to 9 C by 5 plus 32. You can observe here clearly, this equation seems to be like y is equal to 
m x plus c y is equal to m x plus c graph is this and y is this one y coordinate here and this is equal to x coordinate here and y is equal to m x minus uh, m x plus c graph here. So, with this we can answer what is m here the slope slope is nothing but the tan theta slope is equal to tan theta tan theta is equal to how much it is the slope is equal to how much it is 9 by 5 in the questions they give that here and this angle they ask the tan theta is equal to 9 by 5 theta is equal to tan inverse you can also write here theta is equal to tan inverse 9 by 5 okay children. So, similarly this also similar kind of the graph taking the Celsius and Fahrenheit Celsius is here and Fahrenheit you can calculate what is this value and this value okay right we will go to the next yeah this is also from that only we can tell that you see we plot the graph having the temperature Celsius on x axis and the Fahrenheit on y axis and if the graph is a straight line is a previous question and then the correct statement is equal to what okay and you see that here the line intercept the positive x axis line intercept the positive y axis line passes through the origin line intercepts and the negative x negative x of the both x and y just now I shown that clearly understand that here I gave you see you studied that here Fahrenheit scale on y axis is said and the Celsius scale on x axis you are going to get a graph here what kind of the shape of the graph that you are going to get you can see here y is equal to like this graph will be there this is equal to y is equal to m x plus c graph okay intercept you see positive intercept on y axis negative intercept on x axis that is the answer you can check that the line intercepts you see the second option is correct the line intercepts a positive y axis this is correct okay line is the line intercepts a positive x axis is it correct no it is negative x axis and the line passes through origin no line passes through origin only for next graph I am going to show that you can understand and line intercept the negative x axis on both x and y no right this is a correct one okay next and uh, this is a uh, what actually you can see in this case which of the following curves in the figures and uh, represent the relation between the Celsius and Fahrenheit temperatures just now we discussed it is the only the first one is a uh, here is saying that Celsius and Fahrenheit Celsius and Fahrenheit Celsius is here here this is a Celsius the Celsius scale and this is equal to Fahrenheit scale. So, in the Celsius and Fahrenheit scale in the sense how the shape of the graph we discussed just now here and in that case what is that graph in sense I shown already Fahrenheit and Celsius graph is equal to this, but a Celsius and Fahrenheit graph you get a graph like this you see positive intercept on Fahrenheit scale and negative intercept on Celsius scale negative intercept right. So, therefore, the option will be equal to A here in this case this is the correct one okay what is this graph this is for Fahrenheit and y axis right. Now, we will go to the next one check clearly do not rush up and concentrate clearly now and uh, this is a one important fundamental just I will give it to you what is the temperature for which reading on Celsius and Fahrenheit are the same is the most important question it is of course, simple question everybody knows that here at what temperature Celsius and Fahrenheit are equal C and F is equal to x and uh, C by 5 the relation here C by 5 is equal because both will be the same both Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale will be showing the same reading only at minus 40 degree Celsius how it is you can see that C by 5 is equal to F minus 32 by 9 substitute C is equal to x F is also x then solving this solving this what you get here x is equal to minus 40 degree Celsius the answer will be minus 40 right uh? you can check that clearly. Next the same thing Fahrenheit Kelvin scale in the same way you can try um, uh, you are going to get the second option correct same thing F minus 32 by 9 is equal to K minus 273 by 5 substitute f is equal to k is equal to x 
then you are going to get that here x is equal to 574.6 you are going to get that answer you just check that okay these two are very important previous one and this one these are the fundamentals you can also remember right now and uh, this is already we discussed a uh, similar kind of question uh, as i gave you formally you see and there is a one hypothetical scale x and ice point ice point is nothing but the lower fixed point and steam point is nothing but the upper fixed point and uh, there is another scale y ice point and steam points are given and if x reads 50 and what is the reading of y this is for x this is for y simple lower fixed point of x lower point fixed point of x is equal to what actually here x first x scale lower fixed point generally what we can write lower fixed point reading minus lower fixed point by and upper fixed point minus lower fixed point I will write again. Yeah, and uh, reading minus lower fixed point by upper fixed point minus lower fixed point is always constant. For x I want to write it, for x is equal to x minus lower fixed point of this one is equal to 40 by upper fixed point of that one is equal to 120 minus lower fixed point of this one is equal to 40 is equal to and for y, y minus lower fixed point of this one is equal to minus 30 upper fixed point of this one is equal to 130, 130 minus of minus 30. Substitute, substitute x is equal to how much he said 50, substitute x is equal to 50. When you substitute that here, you are going to get that here, exact the answer will be minus 10, you will get that here, y is equal to minus 10, you are going to get it. Okay? This is the one important one in the thermometry these are the important areas to be focused and other points I am showing that you can verify later. Okay? Some numericals are there, some theoretical points. Then I will go to that of expansion of solids, before that you can see some of the screens. This is the one question you can check that, these are all important questions, you can check that from your side. Now, these are all the theoretical points. Okay. These are the different scales of temperatures here, I am going to do one question also with that. See, you just look at carefully, there are different scales of temperature summa basically I told you already and uh, this is a constant uh, pressure thermometer will be there, constant volume thermometer will be there and if you see that here, these are pressure cases and pressure of the gas filled in the bulb at a constant volume gas thermometer at 0 degree Celsius and at 100 degrees Celsius are given, pressure values are given and asking that what is the temperature at which the pressure will show the 35, same like whatever that I gave you, similar concept we can apply, similar concept in the sense I told you, already I told you here and the reading of that one, reading of that minus lower fixed point by upper fixed point minus lower fixed point is equal to constant. I am applying for pressure, what is the reading on the pressure? reading of the pressure is equal to how much 35 lower fixed point in sense the pressure at 0 degree celsius 28.6 by upper fixed points 36.6 28.6 is equal to you are comparing with the celsius scale celsius scale reading is asking that only c minus lower fixed point 0 upper fixed point is 100 minus 0. You solve it, you are going to get that exactly 80 degree Celsius solving here. C is equal to exactly 80 degree Celsius, you are going to get it. Okay, children, this is a, about the thermometry, right? Next. So, these are all uh, parts of thermometry only. Now, majorly I will go ahead with the uh, expansion of solids. Right. So, thermometry these are the points enough, again I am repeating Celsius, fan heat, Kelvin, next their different scales, I mean uh, the difference of the uh, different temperatures. Right. Now, go to the expansion of solids, 
in the expansion of solids i am giving some theoretical points you can go through that majorly i'll focus on uh, the expansions what are the different types of expansions and all other things here so these are the some theoretical points here just go through that okay now coming to the point here solids have a defined shape defined size and therefore a defined length will be there defined area will be there a defined volume will be there and hence whenever you supply the heat what happens length expands i mean expansion of length will be there expansion of area will be there expansion of volume will be there for all of them only one kind of the formula if you can remember that's fine everything is the same this is for the coefficient of linear expansion formula that you know here alpha is equal to similarly and uh, for area also we have that this is the one formula for alpha and second one is sometimes they ask what is the change in length they ask what is the purpose of this formula change in length is given and original length is given change in temperature is given alpha to be find out you focus on the numericals and how to apply now you see the next one is change in length sometimes only they ask change in length only which is equal delta l is equal to l1 alpha delta t this formula only we are writing same thing we apply for aerial and volume and this one is equal to final length because when you have a rod here any solid and when you increase the temperature this may expand this is called the expansion which is nothing but the delta l this is the original length l1 it is a temperature of t1 degree celsius it goes to the temperature t2 degree celsius you have a formula to find out delta l you have a formula to find out l2 and you have a formula to find out alpha alpha beta gamma are the coefficients of linear aerial and superficial i mean volume expansions okay they are constants for a given material they are constant to a given material so some of the points i mentioned and uh, sometimes uh, other point will be there here sometimes uh, alpha value will be different in the different uh, anisotropic materials in that case average value how to find out you just check that here only there are all theoretical points here majorly you remember this and formula these three same formula for aerial expansion this is a completely about the numeric uh, linear expansion only i mentioned uh, these are the two points now the next one is equal to aerial expansion volume expansion also mentioned here see what is a superficial expansion coefficient of superficial expansion with which how to find out the change in area you want to write the change in area you want to write it change in area delta a is equal to normally they ask the question there is one metal sheet is given so you increase the temperature and what is the change in area volume also changes change in area delta a is equal to this formula when i am writing beta a1 into delta t similarly change in volume also they ask delta v is equal to gamma v1 delta t right children you just uh, focus on that what are the relevant formulae for linear expansion three formulae for uh, superficial expansion or aerial expansion three formulae and for this okay how alpha beta gamma are related you know alpha beta gamma are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 if at all you have one numerical we'll discuss and beta is equal to 2 alpha that only we are writing beta is equal to 2 alpha gamma is equal to 3 alpha right huh? so we can write in that way the relations here right now see what is the percentage of change in length is a very common one change by original into 100 what is the change in by original is equal to alpha delta t percentage of change in area because whenever you increase the temperature area changes area changes and what is the percentage of change in area whenever there is a change then definitely you can expect that uh, uh, like a uh, percentage of change of anything right in any part of the physics we use the same thing here what is the percentage of change in volume percentage of change in area and all other things you can see okay now and another important point here is this you just put a star and you can remember sometimes alpha value will be given in celsius scale they ask that alpha value in fahrenheit because you see the formula alpha is equal to delta l by l into delta t the change in temperature and alpha they are inversely what is the meaning of inversely as far as units are concerned i am saying that inverse not that uh, like materials so in this case what happens alpha in fahrenheit by alpha in celsius is equal to inverse temperature on celsius 
by temperature and Fahrenheit. Already we have done temperature and Celsius by temperature and Fahrenheit is how much it is. Temperature of Celsius by temperature of Fahrenheit is equal to 5 by 9, we know. So, if at all you know the temperature and Celsius scale is important for the children, please focus on that. You just focus on this here, right? Alpha in Fahrenheit is equal to alpha in Fahrenheit is equal to 5 by 9 into alpha into Celsius to focus, right? Then with this we can answer, we will do that one question. We have a important question here, you can check that here. This is from the general concept only here and uh, you just observe that here. Coefficient of linear expansion of a material 5 into 10 power minus 5 degree Fahrenheit per degree Fahrenheit. What is the coefficient of cubical expansion? First you calculate what is the coefficient of cubical expansion. You see that you point to be noted, this is a you observe that here Fahrenheit scale is expecting answer in per degree Celsius. Just now I gave you how that Fahrenheit relation with the temperature Celsius scale I gave you. Alpha value in Fahrenheit is equal to 5 by 9 alpha into Celsius. Same thing for beta and gamma. Now, I will go for it. See, <coughs> first uh, what is given? Alpha is given. We require gamma. Gamma I am calculating. Gamma is equal to you know 3 alpha. Gamma in Fahrenheit only you will get it. This also in Fahrenheit. 3 into alpha is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 5 per degree Fahrenheit. Then answer will be 15 into 10 power minus 5. This is not the final answer to be answer. The answer to be answer must be in per degree Celsius. We got in Fahrenheit. So, how to answer? Just now I gave you already. Gamma value in Celsius is required. Gamma value in Celsius is equal to 9 by 5 gamma value in Fahrenheit. But I shown the formula you can see for alpha is the same thing. Alpha is equal to 5 by 9 this one. Whereas, uh, alpha in Celsius is equal to 9 by 5 Fahrenheit. Same thing gamma also we can apply 9 by 5. Okay, children. Now, we will see 9 by 5 into 15 into 10 power, we got that already 10 power minus 5. So, 5 ones are 5 threes are. So, answer will be you can see that here clearly and the second option will be that 27 into 10 power minus 5 you will get it. 27 into 10 power minus 5 per degree Celsius. Right? Uh? So, this is a what actually the concept about uh, this one. Uh, now, this is a direct formula, you can try that and uh, just I am giving the formula here and uh, alpha is given, alpha is given and the length at a 20 degree Celsius given, the temperature which shortened by 1 millimeter. I am writing the formula delta L is equal to alpha L shortened that is change by 1 millimeter alpha L 1 into delta T and uh, delta L is equal to shortened decrease in length, decrease in length is 1 millimeter 10 power minus 3 meter, milli is 10 power minus 3, alpha value is given 2 into 10 power minus 5, L 1 original length of this one is equal to how much it is given 100 centimeters, is asking 100 centimeters I took in meter sum this I can take it as a 1 meter, I take it as a 1 meter, you yeah, see 1 meter because I took that meters into and T 2 minus T 1 second temperature which we are supposed to find out minus first temperature is how much is given 20 degree Celsius. Children what is asking here? Whenever you change the temperature it is found that length is decreased by 1 millimeter as the length is decreased by 1 millimeter that is a minus. So, by solving this by solving this and T 2 is equal to you are going to get that exactly minus 30 degree Celsius. Okay, right. I will go to the next uh, topic here. Next point. Here are some of the you know, fundamentals of uh, solids I will show you. You see, these are the points here, and uh, this is a circuit one. Uh, a wire of length 60 centimeter bent in the form of a circle with a gap of 1 centimeter. Only gap expansion only you can see that. He is asking here, the gap becomes how much it is given? Gap is equal to same thing, delta L is equal to alpha L into delta T. Only gap you see the gap change is given in sense, original gap you take is that. And the original gap is increases to, increases to in the sense, what you can write? L 2 minus L 1. 
final value is given 1.02 minus original gap is equal to 1 centimeter which is equal to alpha is asking original gap is equal to 1 and change in temperature the temperature is equal to how much is on heating by 100 degrees Celsius by yes this is the one important to be focused by and 2 increased by in sense delta t increased to in sense final value directly here by is given we require that only change and uh, solve it alpha is equal to exactly 2 into 10 power minus 4 you will get it right now we will go to the next one here this is the same uh, form lemma you can try that you can try same mechanism you can try that this is all for your practice I am giving here and uh, next question I will explain here. Yeah, now this one you can see important model, two rods here, one is a hollow and other is a solid, made of same material that is alpha, beta, gamma are same, they are of same length, same length and uh, 20 centimeter and a 2 centimeter radius, when the temperatures are increased through uh, same amount like uh, by 50 degrees Celsius, what will be the answer in the sense you can see increase in length, one is a solid rod, one is a hollow one, this is a solid rod, one is a hollow one, same lengths are given, same change in temperatures are given, same change in temperatures are given. So, definitely what happens here, whatever the increase in length will be the same because you know delta L depends upon what actually nature of material which is alpha and uh, which both are same and L is the same, delta T is the same, definitely the delta L also will be the same here. The answer is 1 is to 1 is a one important model to concentrate, right. Now, I am going to the next one here and uh, this is a direct concept Emma, how it is and all you can check that. Now, one application is there that is the most important application last year question also I will show you that. This is a variation of density with the temperature formula you remember how the density varies with the temperature, how the density varies because you know density D is inversely proportional to volume and when the volume changes density at uh, T degree Celsius by density at 0 degree Celsius is equal to volume at 0 by volume at T, volume at T just now I gave you formula volume at 0 by volume at t is equal to what v0 into 1 plus gamma delta t. So, v0 v0 gets cancelled then we can find out density at t degree Celsius is equal to d0 by 1 plus gamma delta t. Remember this is also important mechanism here is given d0 by 1 plus gamma t. The same thing in place of dt you take it as 2 and this one this is another way. Sometimes what happens other temperatures are given I took that 0 and uh, this one this is nothing but here t minus 0 I took and instead of that t2 and t1 you take it this one you are, you are going to get it variation of density with temperature as temperature increases volume decreases definitely the density sorry as the temperature increases volume increases density decreases right. Now, I will go to the next one and uh, this is a uh, with the uh, how that uh, density changes and all based on that formula only you can apply and uh, this is the one most important one in the previous question you might have seen this one here. What is this in the sense you can see, I will show you one problem also the last year uh, last before year question I will show you. This is the one rod of length L1, this is another rod of length L2, two different materials alpha 1 and alpha 2, there is a difference in the length, this is a difference in the length which is equal to x, a difference in the length it is possible, it is possible irrespective of variation of temperatures at every temperature what happens here and x remains constant, not all the case at what case x remains constant because it increased by 1 millimeter this also increase 1 millimeter gap remains same. So, for which what is that in the sense you see here and uh, x remains same here L1 minus L2 remains constant the condition for this one is equal to this one alpha 1 L1 is equal to alpha 2 L2 if alpha 1 L 1 is equal to alpha 2 L 2 definitely the difference in that length always will be constant. Same thing that we have in the expansion of liquids also similar concept with the volumes and uh, gamma ok 
right. So, whenever you have this, we have a question, I will explain that here. That is a whenever x is given alpha 1, alpha 2 are given, how to find out L1 and L2. So, very well known formula. I will go to the next one. Here, that based on that only the question is given, and uh, we will see that uh, this one here copper rod of 88 centimeter and aluminum rod of unknown length have their increase in length is independent of increase in temperature. The length of aluminum rod is equal to how much? Here, see length of copper rod is given that is alpha of copper length of copper is equal to alpha of aluminum alpha of aluminum length of aluminum we can use. What are given here and both the alpha values are given alpha of copper is given alpha of aluminum is given length of copper is given length of aluminum to be find out. So, you substitute that here exactly you are going to get that 68 centimeter children and simple concept here based on this. Next and uh, you see that here this is a one uh, important fundamental concept related with the uh, expansion of solids right. You can check that uh, have a look of all this formula and some of the important formula I gave in the screen. Now, this is also another important application in the solids you can see that normally how the pendulum time period changes with the length and based on that we have a calculation here and percentage of change in time period with the change in temperature delta T by T is equal to 1 by 2 alpha delta T right. So, this is one of the important formula and I will show you the question one question here and uh, what is the loss or gain in time per second is equal to 1 by 2 alpha delta T this one only 1 by 2 alpha delta T we can find out and uh, per second how much the time it loses or gain ok and uh, loss or gain per day per day this is per second per second per 1 second per day in the sense 86400 seconds here in place of this you can see I already shown that delta T is equal to 1 by 2 alpha delta T into capital T this is for how much of the time that you are finding the variation of time period. If it is per second we go for T is equal to 1 given here and if it is given per minute we take the 60 seconds if it is a per hour 3600 seconds and uh, if it is given per day 86400 seconds ok. Now this is the one application I will show you one numerical and uh, clearly you can understand that here and the clock which keeps correct time at 20 degrees Celsius ok and how many seconds will it gain or lose per day when the temperature falls to 0 degree Celsius ok. So, when the temperature falls to 0 degree Celsius how much it losing and gain the same formula here how much you see that clearly it gain or lose per day per day the same formula delta T is equal just now I gave you half alpha delta T into per day per day is equal to 86400 seconds. Now, remember here alpha is the given alpha is given 1 by 2 alpha is equal to 18 into 10 power minus 6 and delta T you clearly observe that here it was at what temperature here 20 degree Celsius the temperature falls to what 0 degree Celsius that is 0 minus 20. You can understand here when the temperature increases length increases when the length increases what happens time period increases time period increasing is going slow slowly oscillating if the temperature decreases length decreases. So, accordingly what happens time period decreases time period decreases so fast the going fast ok. So, how much is a going fast we can calculate delta T is equal to you can calculate exactly you are going to get that here 15.55 seconds ok. So, this is a what actually expansion of solids one of the important concept you can remember. Now, I will go to the next one and uh, this is a based on that only similar kind of question you can try for your practice I gave the same thing this also and uh, these are the simple fundamentals here and what happens uh, the circular hole is made and if you increase the temperature what happens the diameter and all other things I mentioned clearly observe that they are all theoretical points only. This is a metal tapes and uh, what is the problem you can just uh, go through that and uh, what will be the correct length normally what happens metal scales will be there here 
and the metal scale because of variation of temperature that uh, the gap between the readings changes then whatever the reading that we are going to get may not be accurate and uh, whatever the reading that we get from the a particular metal scale that is observed scale when you know that uh, observed scale this observed length uh, I clearly mentioned here L o is the reading observed L c is the correct uh, true length from this we can calculate what is the correct length we can calculate okay if object is metal object and the uh, scale is this is what actually one reading correct uh, temperature at which it show the correct uh, uh, measurement that is called the calibration temperature this is a measure temperature this is object object is also metal object is metal and the scale is also metal scale is also metal so in that case what happens when the temperature changes both the lengths changes then whatever the reading that we are getting may not be accurate so what exactly the correct reading lc is equal to lo into 1 plus alpha s minus alpha o into tm minus tc so we can easily find out here one question also i gave you can just practice that here this is one of the question here based on that okay the same concept amma you just go ahead right this is a small application by metallic strip by metallic strip in the sense it is a made up of one strip made up of two different materials there are two different materials one is the alpha 2 this is another one alpha 1 whenever you increase the temperature they will have unequal expansions if alpha 2 is greater than that of alpha 1 if alpha 2 is greater than that of alpha 1 then what happens here it will expand more than that of this therefore it will bend if temperature increased alpha 2 is greater than alpha 1 only this particular one this alpha 2 this alpha 1 it will bend towards the lower alpha and what is the radius of curvature it is forming and what is this angle and all this is the radius of curvature for which we have one formula here radius of curvature of a strip is equal to d by alpha 2 minus alpha 1 into delta t delta t is a change in temperature alpha 2 and alpha 1 alpha 2 is what actually here in this case greater than that of alpha 1 here okay children so in the next uh, one minute we will see thermal stress another application for the thermal stress thermal stress in the sense you can see you take that one uh, solid two rigid supports and if you heat it what happens here the temperature increases try to expand but uh, these rigid walls does not allow this one to expand in that process what happens one pressure develop that pressure itself is called the thermal stress due to the temperature and what is the thermal stress here which is equal to y alpha delta t you point to be observed here and uh, clearly you can observe that here you see thermal force and thermal stress thermal stress is independent of both area and length but depends upon what depends upon nature of material y and alpha and of course change in temperature thermal force amma, force is equal to you know pressure is nothing but the force by area which is equal to y alpha delta t is given and y f is equal to y alpha delta t into a this is a thermal force thermal force depends upon the area but not on the length length of the rod whether you take that one meter or half meter and uh, it will be the same here right okay children and this is a based on that problem here you can check that here the, these are the expansion of solids majorly and uh, in the next session we will see that uh, expansion of liquids okay right all the best of